Hello, everybody. Hello, teacher. Hello. Good evening. Good evening. How are you doing? Uh, I am ready. You're Class. ready. Okay. That's the way it is, okay? Hope that you are ready. Yeah, let me see. Uh, I have uh, Nelson, Gisela, Juan, um, Marco, Victor, Moses. I have seven people connected. Okay, still, um, I'm still waiting for some others, okay? Let me see. I think I have some problems over here. Well, let me know. Give me one second, cause I'm trying to get to your, to the information that's being prepared for you, right? So the last time we were talking about simple paths and today, give me one second, cause I'm trying to get the information just right now. Okay, it's over here. Now, remember that um we're just going to go over a news a new topic okay i share some information in the whatsapp group and we're going to start in a minute okay um the lesson for Morning, today teacher. hello hello good evening hello okay hello, so I, I i want you to be ready because uh, do you listen to me, people? Yes. Do you listen? Yes, I listen, teacher. Okay. Okay, very good. Yes, teacher. And, and and you don't have problems with the information over here, right? No. Now, uh, uh, over here, well, first off, we're going to get into... Um, um, to see a conversation, okay, in which there are two people uh, asking about places in town, okay, places in town. And we are going to use, um, there is, we're going to use, there are, a one, any, and some. That's it. Okay, and so that's it. You can see the 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 lesson objective in, in Spanish also if you want, if you wish, right? But we're gonna get into the first part of our lesson. Well, I think it's better if we see the video in YouTube. Okay, I I, I will open the video in YouTube. I think it's better. And. Let me see, there is someone that's chatting. Okay, Rebecca. Okay, Rebecca. Give me one second. Let me see what's going on with that. Okay. Okay. Now I hope that you can see the info. Uh, okay, Claudia, okay, I understand. Okay. Okay, now, in a, what's your neighborhood like? You know neighborhood, right? What What is there in your neighborhood, people? What is there in your neighborhood? Yeah, that's right. Neighborhood, somebody said neighborhood in Spanish there. All right, Jocelyn. All right, Jocelyn. I got it. Okay, but uh, let's see. That's a vecindario in Spanish, right? Okay. And let's see what's going on with the conversation, people. It's time to see.
Tell me. Ah, no sé si, no sé si solo yo, pero no escucho. Uh, no, you don't listen to it. No se escucha. Oh, I'm sorry. It was my fault. Don't, I'm sorry. It was my fault. I will share it once again and I will play the big. Now, let me know if you still have the same problem. I will play it the second time, okay? Here we go. Welcome everybody to section eight. Do you listen now? Yes. Yes, right. yes. What is your neighborhood like? As we always do, we listen to a conversation in order to get ready for our topics, which will include places around town, location, and there is, there are. In this session, you will listen to a conversation between neighbors asking about places in town. Pay attention to there is, there are, one, any, and some. Excuse me. I'm your new neighbor, Jack. I just moved in. Oh, yes. I'm looking for a grocery store. Are there any around here? Yes, there are some on Pine Street. Oh, good. And is there a laundromat near here? Well, I think there's one across from the shopping center. Thank you. By the way, there's a barber shop in the shopping center, too. A barber shop? A barber shop. Okay, now that was the conversation. I think okay. There's one across. Now, uh, listen. I will. I will ask two people. Two people to uh, read the conversation as quickly as possible, and so Thank that we can. Sure. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Who? Who wants? Me. Uh, Janelle. Okay, Janelle. Thank you, Janelle. And I want um, Marco, Janelle and Marco, please. Okay. Excuse me, I'm your new neighborhood, Jack. I just move on in. Oh, yes. <clears throat> I'm looking for a grocery store. Are there any around here? Yes, there are some on Pine Street. Oh, good. And is there a longer mart near her? Well, I think there is one across from the shopping center. Center. Thank you. Thank you. By the way, there's barbershop in the shopping center too. Uh, creo que es mi línea. By the way, there is a barber shop in the shopping center too. A barber shop. Pretty good. That's fantastic, right? So later on, uh, I mean, you can you can practice the conversation as many times as you wish, right? Or as many times you consider it is uh, necessary for you. Uh, I will read it, and I and I I hope you can repeat some some words at home or, or the words that you have doubts about, so that you can like learn learn them by heart. Excuse me, I'm your new neighbor, Jack. I just moved in. Oh, yes? I'm looking for a grocery store. Are there any around here? Yes, there are some on Pine Street. Oh, good. And is there a laundromat near here? Well, I think there's one across from the shopping center. Thank you. By the way, there's a barber shop in the shopping center too. A barber shop? And that's it, right? Okay, so... Now, now we uh, introduce the topic by listening to this conversation. And remember, what are we going to study now? There is, there are one. Okay. Can you read one part uh, uh, that, that you can see about there is or there are? We have, this is the first question, right? Are there any? Is there a laundromat near here? I think there is. Now something that we needed to keep in mind, contracted form. And there is a barber shop. Now we have identified uh, some of the structures that we are studying tonight. Okay, and I 
donde dice Mrs. Day, there are some. Uh, in the first one, no. El cuarto. Uh, all right. Then dice, uh, yes, there are some on Pine Street. Uh, yes, there are some. Oh, ah, that's right. There are, right? We have this one over here and we have some also. This is the structure that, or these are the structures that we are going to study tonight. So keep it in mind because we are going to move on and we are going to see them um, in some exercises also. Let's see. I will move on to next part now with, that we identify these um, the structures. We're gonna go over the next part, right? So we're gonna learn about how to ask and answer questions with there is, there are, a one, any, or some, okay? And we, in order to do so, we're going to see an, another video, right? And in this video, uh, we're gonna see the grammatical structure, okay? And then we're gonna solve some exercises. That's a station. The plaza is in front of the post now, give office. Me one second, please. I uh, am hi, so sorry. Hi, Here we go. Hi, 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 hey, hi. What's going on with this? Hi, 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 hi. Oops, what's going on? Okay, I will try the last time. Hi, hi, hi. Hey, I have problems with this video. I'm so sorry, but I. I will read the information I have over here, okay? Have problems with the video? Let me see. I will try the second time. Okay. Now be ready. Here we go. Remember about our topic. Remember about our topic. Here we go. Plaza station. The plaza is in front of the post office. Okay. Hi, everyone. Welcome back to another session. This time, we'll learn to ask if there is or not a particular place in town. We'll go over prepositions of place, which will help us give directions. In this session, participants will learn how to ask and answer questions with there is, there are, one, any, and some. There is, there are, one, any, some. Is there a laundromat near here? Yes, there is. There's one across from the shopping center. No, there isn't but there's one next to the library. Are there any grocery stores around here? Yes, there are. There are some nice stores on Pine Street. No, there aren't, but there are some on Third Avenue. No, there aren't any around here. Prepositions. On. on. Next to. Next to. Near. Near. Close to. Close to. Across from. Across from. Opposite. Opposite. In front of. In front of. In back of. In back of. Behind. Behind. Between. Between. On the corner of. On the corner of. If you want to know if there is a place near you, we do it by saying. Give me one second. I will opposite. get back. Now, listen. Uh, let us practice some pronunciation, please. Now, as you can see, this is a question, right? Now, I wonder if there is a person who wants to help me to read. Uh, Ada, please, read the question, the first question. Ada? Is, is there a laundromat near here? Perfect. What is the answer, uh, Christian? Or, or what is the answer? Who wants to help me with the answer, please? So that we can move on quickly. 
Yes, there is. There's one across from the shopping center. Perfect. Thank you, Marco. Thank you, Marco. Now, uh, what is the, the negative the negative form to answer the question? No, there isn't, but there's one next to the library. Good. Very good. Dennis, read the next one, please. Are there any grocery stores uh, around here? Around here? Are there any grocery stores around here? What is the answer, Juan Antonio? Yes, there are. There are some nice stores on Pine Street. Yes, there are. There are some nice stores on, on Pine Street. Very good. Where is the negative form, Juan? No, there aren't, but there are some on Third Avenue. On Third Avenue, pretty good. And there is another option. Where is that one? No, there aren't any around here. No, there aren't any around here. Now, let us practice some vocabulary, okay, prepositions in this case. And let me see, people who haven't participated yet. Um, Esmeralda? Let me see, Gisela, uh, Gisela, please. Could you please read the, the prepositions you see in the video? On. On. Next to. Next to. Near. Near. Close to. Close to. Across from. Across from. Como sería op opposite? Uh, no. How did you listen to? Who remembers? Um, oppo no. Opposite. 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 All right. In front. In front of. In front of. In back up. In back up. Yeah. Be behind. Behind. Between. Between. On the on the corner of. On the corner of. Very good. Now, behind has two, two pronunciations, right? Who knows about second pronunciation? Behind or? What is the other pronunciation for this word? I think it's behind. Behind. Yeah, exactly. Behind and behind. Both are okay. Very good. Excellent. So you know about it. Now, let's move on to the next part. Here we go. Thank you. Now, in front of. In back of. In back of. Behind. Behind or behind. Between. Between. On the corner of. On the corner of. All right. So if you I want to know if there is a place near you, we do it by saying, is there a near here? Of course, the answer will depend on if there is or not. You may answer, yes, there is, or no, there isn't. If your answer is yes, there is, you may continue by saying, yes, there is. There is one next to the gas station. Okay, now we'll stop it there because this is important, okay? Now, if you want to know if there is a place uh, somewhere, then you say, is there? Huh? Now, complete the question, please. I will ask one, every single person here. Uh, let me see. Claudia Lisette, is there a what? Okay, uh, Sería, yes, is there a was? Yeah, I no, mean, complete the question. Van a completar la pregunta con cualquier oh. lugar que ustedes quieran. Yes, there is no. No, no. Uh, ask any question. I mean, uh, uh, talking mm -hmm. about any place. De, menciona cualquier lugar. Por lo menos acá dice, uh, is, there a, is there a pharmacy near here? Hay una farmacia cerca de aquí. Puede decir, yes, there is, or no, there isn't. Yes, there is. Okay. Yes, there is. There is one next to the gas station. Okay. okay. But yeah, is there a mall near here? Excellent. Is there a mall near here? Very good. Complete the okay. question, uh, David. David Roberto. Complete the question, Esmeralda. Complete the question, Maria Elena. 
Yes, there is. Ah, yes, there is. Now, what would be a place? ¿Qué otro lugar colocarían acá? Donde se dice there are. Near Supermarket. Ah, Supermarket. ok. Police. Park. Is there a... Ok. Lechón. Excellent, María Elena. Very good. Cinema. Is there a cinema near here? Sí. Ok. Now, let me see. Moisés Antonio, complete it, please. Is there a church near here? Is there a church near here? Very good. Nelson Rodimiro, complete the question, please. Is there a supermarket near here? Is there a supermarket near here? All right. Very good. Oscar Antonio, complete it, please. Is there a park near here? Is there a park near here? Very good. Now, uh, Ricardo Fabricio, complete the question, please. Ricardo. Okay, let me see. Uh, Sonia Rebecca, complete the question, please. Um, let me see. Let's move on. Okay, so you say, is there a church near here? Yes, there is, or not, there isn't. And if you want to provide extra information, then you say, yes, there is. There is one next to the gas station. And then over here, you use a preposition to provide uh, the, 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 uh, to provide extra information about where exactly the place is. Okay. Now, I think this is all. And let us have prepositions some... Prepositions of place. Let's go over the prepositions by looking at the map. The post office is on main street the gas is now question where is the post office people stephanie where is the post office let me see if stephanie here no okay victor where is the post office victor Post office. Yeah. Uh, sorry, teacher. One moment. Okay. Yeah. Now, I will play once again, Victor. Listen carefully, please. And then you will tell me where the post office is. Teacher. Post office in front of the park. It's in front of the park. Just okay. Just by looking at the map. The post office is on Main Street. Aha. Uh -huh. Now, uh, tell me a different way to say uh, where the post office is. Mm. Uh, Xiomara. The post office is on the Main Street. On, on the Main Street. The gas station is next to Seria, Victor. Seria in the corner of First Avenue. Yeah, it's on the corner of First Avenue and Main Street. Good evening. Okay. Yeah, good evening. Excellent, Victor. Very good. Now let's see. Next the public library. Public the library center is close or near the public library. Hey, where is the shopping center, people? Jocelyn, Jocelyn Elizabeth, where is the shopping center? It's on First Avenue. It's on First Avenue also? All right, it's on the First Avenue. Uh, tell me a different way to, to provide a position. Um, I don't know if Christian it's... is here. Uh -huh. It's on First Avenue behind gas station. It's on First Avenue behind the, the gas station. Okay. Behind. Very good. Let's go over the next one. Very good, Moses. 
the telephone booth is across from the gas station the plaza is in front of the post office okay the electronics store is behind or at the back of the post office the plaza is between first national bank and the grocery store the gas station is on the corner of first avenue make sure you practice and understand each preposition okay now uh let me see i think we have the following right now where is the plaza people Do you remember about it? It is between First National Bank and grocery store. And the grocery store, right? That, that's right. It's between the National Bank and the grocery store. Okay. Hey, where is uh where is Hamil Ham that is Hamilton Hotel, right? Where is it? It is on Pine Frank, Street. Next to Frank Cafe. Next to Frank's Cafe, or it's in front of the grocery store, right? Okay, that's it. That, oh, I'm so sorry. I need to continue sharing the information. I'm sorry. All right. So... We got more familiarized with the topic tonight, okay? Let me see. We're gonna go over the next part, okay? Over here is just for you to uh, check your knowledge, okay? Over here, you're gonna take a look at the map. It's the same map. Okay, you will read the questions and you will choose the right place according to what you saw, right? Or according to the direction given. Okay, we will see the, the image. Okay, we have the image over here. Okay, we are going to identify different places. Okay, now what do you see in the map? What do you see in this part of the map? What do we have? We have, there is a... Shopping center. There is a shopping center. What else do you see in the map? Gas station. Uh, okay, but don't tell me only gas station. No, tell me. There is or there are. There oh. is or there are. Okay. Now, what do you see? What is there in the city? There is a public library. There is a public yeah. library. A gas station. There is a there, gas station. There is a gas station. There's the National Bank. There is a National Bank. Where else do you see? What else do you see? Post office. There is a post office. Uh-huh. Gym. There is a gym. There's a gym. There is a Okay. Uh, do we have a I mean, is there any hotel? King Plaza. Ah, we have and, the King Plaza Hotel. And Jamison Hotel. And Jamison Hotel. All right, very good. So we have a lot of places there. Now, uh, do you think uh, you can remember all of these places so that we can move on to the to the exercise? Let us try. Okay, let us try, people. Let us try. Now that you identify some places there, we're going to solve these exercises. All right, I will ask some people, people who haven't participated. Now, question four. Let me see. I wonder if Christian got into the class. Yeah, Christian, Christian, you now I can see that you are over here. Christian, uh, the first question. It is, it is, um, there is one. It's on the corner of Elm Street in in Maple Avenue. What is there? You have a library, hotel, or park? Hotel. 
a hotel. There is a hotel. Let me see. There is somebody chatting. All right, all right, Dennis. Now I, I, I got your message. I got it. All right. Now, it, there is a hotel, right? Now, is there a, around here? Yes, there is one. It is next to the, next to Prince Grocery Store. I, I think you remember about it, right? Where's Prince Grocery Store? Drugstore. Ah, we have the drugstore. There is a drugstore. But but we have, let me see, you have three options. A bank, a gym, or a laundromat. Bank. There is a bank. Yeah. Now, try to remember because... No, I, I, some there is one on Main Street behind Parker's Drugstore. What is that? We have three options. The park, Joe's gym, or the department store? Department store. There is a, de a department store. Number four. There is one on First Avenue and Main Street. Yes. Cafe, yeah. gas station, or hotels? Gas, gas station. Okay, we are going to check it later. Let me see. I think... We can we can see it at the same time. Now try to remember people because over well, here is where we are just getting the answers, okay? Let's see. Sorry, this is the one. Okay, now this is number number five. There are some nice stores on Pine Street. Now, hotels, public library, grocery stores. What is the question? Are there on Main Street? On Main Street. Are there what? Hotels, public library, or grocery stores? Grocery stores. Uh, we have some, there are some grocery stores. Number six. Um, it is between the post office and old days department store. Post office and old days. What is, what is there there? Joe's gym. Joe's gym. 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 There is a gym. Okay, number seven. Um, is on on there is one on First Avenue across from the shopping center. First Avenue across from the shopping center. First Avenue across from the shopping center. Now let's see what electronic store. electronic store. We have electronic oh store. Wow, fantastic. Number eight. Um, there is there is one on the corner of Main Street and First Avenue. What is there? Payphone. What do we have? We a have payphone. A, a payphone. A payphone, right? Okay. And then and the number nine, there is one next to the gas station. Ne one next to the gas station. What do we have next to the gas station? Public library. Ah. We have public library. A public library. All right. And the last one, it says, no, there aren't. There are some uh, maple on Maple Street or Maple Street. Are there any what on First Avenue? First Avenue.
What do you think is the answer? I will play. I will. Restaurants. Restaurants. Uh, restaurants. Okay, we're gonna check it. Okay, this was kind a little bit difficult, and we're gonna check. Okay, the first one, hotel, very good. Number two, there, uh, there is a bank. Number three, department store, very good. Gas station, number four. Number five, grocery stores. Number six, there is a gym. Number seven, electronic store, very good. Number eight, pay, pay phone. Number nine, public library. And number 10, restaurants. Wow, you did it, people. You did it. Okay. Now, I wonder if there any question about it. I, I think you did a great job over here. Excellent job. Okay, we're gonna move on then to the next part. And over here, uh, we're gonna uh, follow a conversation about a neighborhood and taking into consideration questions like how many, how much, and some quantifiers, okay? Okay, it's pretty safe. It is pretty safe. Now, let's see. Let us practice. Okay, here we go. In this session, participants will listen to a conversation about a measure. Hi again. This time we'll study how many and how much. Please notice how they ask questions and how they answer them. Remember, count nouns and non-count nouns make the difference. Okay, now, uh, I, I stopped this part because the person said how many and how much, okay? And the, and the lady said, a countable nouns and uncountable nouns makes the difference, okay? So I, I want you to keep um, uh, connected to this part because it is very important for you to pay special attention to it. How do you like your new apartment? I love it. It's downtown, so it's very convenient. Downtown? Is there much noise? Oh, no, there isn't any. I live on the fifth floor. How many restaurants are there near your place? A lot. In fact, there's an excellent Korean place just around the corner. What about parking? Well, there aren't many parking garages, but I usually find a place on the street. Is there much crime? No, it's pretty safe. Hold on. That's my car alarm. I'll call you back later. <laughs> hey, what do you think happened to the lady? Let's see. Okay, people, remember to turn off your microphone if you're not if you're not participating, please. Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay, and let me see. Uh, I will ask two people. Oh, no, there isn't again. any. Okay. And remember, what is our purpose over here is to identify two uh, type of questions. The first one, how many? And what is the other one? How much? How much? Do we have it in the conversation? We don't have how much, right? Yes. Oh uh, yeah, is there much yeah. crime? Okay, very good, much, right? Is there much noise? Okay, how many and how much? Okay, now we have question with much and we have question with many, right? And let me see, I, I, I wonder if there are two people who want to help me with the, with the conversation. Only two people. Okay, Moses. Moses, thank you. And is there another person? Let me see. Uh, Moses and Jonel. Very good. Okay, Moses, I think you start. Okay. Uh, how do you like your new apartment? 
Oh, I love it. It's downtown. So it isn't very com convenient. Downtown? Is there much noise? Oh no, there is there isn't any. I live on the fifth floor. How many restaurants are there near your place? A lot. In fact, there is an excellent Korean place just around the corner. Uh, what about parking? Well, there aren't many parking. A garage, but I usually find a place on the street. Is there much crime? No, it's in pretty safe. Hold on, it's not my car alarm. Oh, I'll call you back later. I'll call you back later. All right, that's fantastic. Very good. Now, I, I don't know if there are two people more who want to um, uh, read the, the conversation. Two people more. Okay, I got... Sure. Tell me. Jocelyn, I think Jocelyn, okay, Jocelyn. No. Who wants people? I want to read the chat. I, I have Xiomara and David, right? Xiomara and David, pretty good. Go ahead. How do you like your new apartment? I love it. It's downtown, so it's very in it's very convenient. Downtown? Is there much noise? Oh, no. There is any in light on the fifth floor. Okay. How many restaurants are there near your place? A lot. In fact, there's an excellent Korean place just around the corner. What about parking? Well, there aren't many parking garage, but I usually find a place on the street. Is there much crime? No, it's pretty safe. Hall is on. That's my car alarm. I'll call you back later. All okay. right. Uh, go ahead, David. No, 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 no. Solo le dije okay, ah, it's, a, no. it's all right. Hey, David, you know what? It, 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 wow, people, you are like um, pronouncing very well. But listen, we're going to play this uh, the last time, and I want you to be like uh, repeating at home. Quiero que todos estén repitiendo, ¿ok? Que traten de decirlo justamente como ellos lo están diciendo en el, en, en el audio. Yo voy a cerrar mi micrófono y voy a empezar a repetir. Ok, y lo mismo quiero que ustedes hagan, que se cierren su micrófono todos y que todos repitan lo que ellos están diciendo. Tratemos de decirlo exactamente como ellos lo dicen, ok? Ok, 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 okay. está bien. I live on the fifth floor. How many restaurants are there near your place? This time we'll study how many and how much. Please notice how they ask questions and how they answer them. Remember, count nouns and non-count nouns make the difference. How do you like your new apartment? I love it. It's downtown, so it's very convenient. Downtown? Is there much noise? Oh, no, there isn't any. I live on the fifth floor. How many restaurants are there near your place? A lot. In fact, there's an excellent Korean place just around the corner. What about parking? Well, there aren't many parking garages, but I usually find a place on the street. Is there much crime? No, it's pretty safe. Hold on. That's my car alarm. I'll call you back later. All right, too fast. Lo dicen muy rápido. ¿Quién sintió que estaba muy rápido? Que lo decían muy rápido. Muy rápido, Yo. Estaba muy rápido la, la cosa. Ay, Va, sí, entonces... Igual. 
va, hagamos una, una cosa, miren, cuando nos encontremos con ese tipo de, de conversaciones, nuestra tarea va a ser tratar de seguir en la medida que sea posible lo que ellos van diciendo. Aquí, si nosotros logramos alcanzar ese ritmo, vamos a, a sonar muy, muy bien en inglés. Aparte de eso, hay que, hay que asegurarnos de la pronunciación. How do you like your new apartment? I love it. It's downtown. So it's very convenient. All right. Downtown, is there much noise? Oh, no, there isn't any. I live on the fifth, fifth floor. How many restaurants are there near your place? A lot. In fact, there's an excellent Korean place just around the corner. What about parking? Well, there aren't many parking garages, but I usually find a place on the street. Is there much crime? Nah, it's pretty safe. Hold on, that's my car alarm. I'll call you back later. All right, so um, when you, when you, Listen, there, there are many different activities you can do it. Um, you can do with this with this kind of uh, videos. Hay diferentes actividades para que ustedes puedan eh, sacarle el mayor provecho a estos videos. Primero, pronunciación. Ok, sumamente importante que ustedes pronuncien eh, lo más parecido posible a como ellos hablan. Segundo, vocabulario. Ok, si yo no sé, por ejemplo, downtown. ¿Qué significa downtown? Entonces, voy y uso un, un, un diccionario o una aplicación que me pueda ayudar. Y ya yo descubro qué significa downtown. Ok. Uh, tercero, eh, vamos, a, vamos a trabajar en el ritmo. Ok. Porque cuando ustedes ya avancen en inglés, van a empezar a notar que su inglés tiene que ir sonando más, más fluidamente, más naturalmente. Ok. Eh, de tal manera que nuestro trabajo es imitar la pronunciación de, los, de las personas nativas. Imitarlos en su ritmo, en su pronunciación y por supuesto ir adquiriendo vocabulario. Ok. Now let's move on, please. Uh, let me see. Oh, it is almost time. It is almost time, but I think we still have some, something else to, to get on here. Well, we're going to talk also about quantifiers. To ask questions and give and give some answers. We're going to see the video and tomorrow we're going to continue about it. Solo lo vamos a ver porque ya el tiempo apremia y este y mañana vamos a continuar con esto, okay? Hello to all of you. In this session we will take a look at quantifiers to ask questions and give our answers. Get ready to listen and take notes if you need to. Quantifiers. How many and how much? Pay attention, please. Count nouns. Count nouns. Are restaurants. there many restaurants? Yes, there are a lot. Yes, there are a few. No, there aren't many. No, there aren't any. No, there are none. How many restaurants are there? There are 10 or 12. Non-count nouns. Is there much crime? Yes, there's a lot. Yes, there's a little. No, there isn't much. No, there isn't any. No, there's none. How much crime is there? There's a lot of street crime. We can say that when nouns in question... How much crime is there? All right, so I will stop it over here and I will try to explain as clearly as possible. Uh, as you can see, restaurants it can be countable, right? You say one restaurant, two restaurants, three, four, etc. You can count. But what about crime? Crime, we cannot count it, right? No podemos contar el crimen. Podemos contar los restaurantes, ¿verdad? Entonces, cuando con tengamos um, countable nouns, we are going to use, are there many? But si no, va si no vamos a hacer una... Una pregunta y lo vamos a hacer afirmativo, entonces vamos a decir, there are many. On the other hand, we have a, a crime, right? Crime no se puede contar y siempre vamos a ocupar is there. Lo vamos a ver como algo singular. Is there much crime? No se puede contar. Entonces vamos a usar is there. All right. In order to answer, para contestar, 
Ok, dependiendo. Si nos hacen la pregunta con many, there are, are there many? Entonces podemos responder. Yes, there are a lot. A lot es el quantifier. Yes, there are a few. Esto es lo que está en negrita, es, son los quantifiers, ok? No, there aren't many. No, there aren't any. No, there aren't, there are none, ok? No, there are none. Now, how many restaurants are there? There are 10 or 12. Now, on the other hand, we have, is there much crime? Yes, there's a lot. Miren, quiere decir que a lot lo vamos a ocupar con cosas que se pueden contar y con cosas que no se pueden contar. A few. Yes, there are a few. Ok, miren acá, cambia. Yes, there's a little. Ya no vamos a decir a few. We're going to say a little. Now, no there are many. No there isn't much. Lo opuesto de many es much. Ok. No, there aren't any. Este se mantiene. Mire, no, there isn't any. ¿Cuál es la diferencia? Acá tenemos aren't y aquí tenemos isn't. And no, there are none. No, there is none. Lo que cambia es el verbo be. Mire, no, there are none. No, there is none. Ok, and that's it. Tomorrow we will continue uh, talking about it. Mañana se, vamos a seguir con eso. Pero este, quiero asegurarme de las personas que estuvieron presentes acá en la sesión de este día. Eh, no sé si, si tenemos a David Roberto. David. Ok, David. Ok, thank you, David. Ok, um, tenemos a Esmeralda. Esmeralda. No, Esmeralda quizás sí tuvo problemas para conectarse. Um, Ricardo Fabricio. También. Sonia Rebeca. A ver, Sonia sí está acá. Algunas veces tenemos alguna dificultad, por eso no podemos participar, lo entiendo. Solo recuérdenme. Eh, recuérdenmelo en el chat, ok, que tienen alguna dificultad para poder participar. Stephanie Michelle. No la veo conectada. Eh, Xiomara Elizabeth. Sí, teacher. Ok, Xiomara. Very good. That's fantastic. Hey, excellent people. I'm really happy about it. Listen, vamos, vamos a recordar algunas de las sugerencias que hemos estado platicando o que platicamos al inicio del curso eh, para que nuestras clases sean un poquito más eh, efectivas y le saquemos el mayor provecho a los 60 minutos que, que vamos a estar conectados. Quiero que todos estén siempre listos a, este, eh, para participar. Ok. A, a lo mejor alguna vez nos vamos a equivocar y eso no tiene nada de malo, ¿ok? Debemos sentirnos muy cómodos en la clase. E inclusive sentirme cómodo implica sentirme cómodo para, para equivocarme. Si yo me voy a equivocar, lo único que va a suceder o lo único que puede suceder es que entre todos le vamos a ayudar a esa persona. Neces necesitamos sentirnos todos muy bien en la clase. Ok, lo otro. Recordemos que si no vamos a participar en la clase, debemos mantener nuestro mi micrófono en silencio. Ok, porque si habemos tres con micrófonos abiertos, pues eso nos puede crear alguna interferencia en la clase. A lo otro, um, si alguien tiene alguna dificultad para entrar a la clase, lo que se me dio en el grupo anterior es que eh, como que Zoom sacó a algún, algún estudiante, pues lo único que usted puede hacer es puede ingresar de nuevo a la clase, no hay ningún problema, e indicarnos de que tuvo una dificultad con Zoom, si ese es el caso. Algunas veces se, se da porque el internet mmm, nos falla, o me puede fallar a mí o a alguien en casa, ¿ok? Pero hay que estar pendiente de cualquier detalle eh, 
eh, respecto a, a, a lo técnico que nos pueda perjudicar en la clase. No sé si hay alguna otra sugerencia. Ah, y lo otro, lo otro, chicos, que no quiero dejar de lado. Quiero que, por favor, no se les olvide practicar inglés. Eh, no solo en la clase, ¿ok? Practiquen inglés eh, todo el tiempo que ustedes consideren necesario. Eh, no se queden solo con la clase. Si este, usted encontró otra conversación respecto al tema que estamos estudiando, practíquelo, uh, pronúncielo, eso está magnífico. No cierren puertas y digan, no, solo me voy a quedar con lo que me deja el teacher Enrique o con lo que me presenta la plataforma. No. Sabemos que tenemos muchas herramientas hoy en día. Este, tenemos aplicaciones, hay videos en YouTube, eh, hay páginas eh, de aprendizaje en la web. O sea, hoy, hoy tenemos mucho que ganar. ¿okay? No se queden solo con, con mi clase. Ahora sí, les abro el espacio y para que ustedes digan también algo que quieran este, sugerir. Les recomiendo, les recomiendo, no sé si les gusta el cafecito, pero a mí sí me encanta. Antes de empezar mi clase yo me tomo un cafecito. Les recomiendo que se tomen un cafecito porque necesito que estén muy despiertos en mi clase. Okay. Súper despiertos, súper participativos. Necesito esa, esa energía que se, nos, que se nos contagia a todos la energía. Porque si imagínense, si somos... Tenemos acá 17 y los 17 tenemos 18. Y si, tenés, y si los 18 tenemos sueño, <ríe> o, si, o si de los 18, 9 tienen, tienen sueño, nos van a contagiar a los demás. Entonces, no. Mejor contagiar a los demás este, con energía. ¿Les parece? Sí, teacher. Una consulta, teacher. Diga, eh, Claudia. Dice, eh, ahora yo empecé a estudiar marketing digital. La okay. cuestión es que el teacher terminó la clase con dos minutos de, de, tar, de tarde. Entonces, no sé si voy a tener alguna dificultad entrar un poquito tarde a la clase de inglés. Si tiene alguna dificultad. Es entra... que como ahora él terminó a las nueve y dos y como ya empezó la clase de inglés a las nueve. Entonces, no sé, me, no sé si salirme de la otra clase para entrar a esta nueva. Sí, fíjense que a mí se me dio una situación ahora con el otro grupo porque eh, me preguntaron al final, hubo una persona que me preguntó y entonces yo respondí y por eso entré quizás unos dos minutitos después. Uh -huh. Pero entonces eso... yo por educación no, no me salgo de la clase sí porque tengo que terminar hasta el final. Sí, yo, yo, lo, yo, yo puedo entender eso, ¿verdad? Entonces, que, que puedan entrar... Es un poco unos... de pena entrar tarde. Lo ideal es que estemos todos a, a la hora, a la eso, eso es lo ideal. Yo voy a tratar todo el tiempo de estar a la hora. Sí. Ok, ya si tengo alguna dificultad, pues yo les escribo allí en el chat, en el WhatsApp. Imaginémonos sí. que se va la luz, porque uh -huh. puede pasar, sí, claro. o que mi internet falla, yo se los comunico inmediatamente en el WhatsApp. Sí, okay. porque yo de 8 a 9 tengo marketing digital y después me incorporo con usted. Ah, perfecto. Todo uh -huh. eso está súper, que lo aclaremos acá. Sí, ¿verdad? entonces por esa razón le, le informo porque puede ser que entre un poquito tarde por ello. De acuerdo, yo por eso estoy, si ustedes se fijan, cuando estamos en la clase yo estoy eh, pidiendo participación, ya cuando no escucho a alguien yo digo, ah, bueno, quizás esta persona no se conectó y le pongo ausencia. Y al final este, yo nada más rectifico. Sí. Yo rectifico, entonces yo creo que así aprovechamos la hora y no estoy yo este fulano de tal y me voy uno por uno y yo siento que pues podemos invertir mucho mejor nuestro tiempo. Así es, gracias. ¿verdad? Así que no sé si hay alguien más que quiera aportar algo a la clase. A mí me gusta lo del cafecito, está bien. <risa> Un consejo. Hey, David, lo, lo, lo quiero felicitar. Por, por, sí, por no haberme incorporado, pero es que mi padre lo he tenido enfermo, entonces quiero que le disculpe a usted y al grupo. Y ahí hay mis disculpas, por favor. Perfecto, gracias por notificar y esperamos que este, se, se mejore pronto su familia. Este, lo felicito, David, porque cuando yo lo escucho, yo siento que estoy escuchando un audio. 
que ha sido grabado este, por personas este, eh, nativas. Yo siento que su, 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 su pronunciación cada día mejora más. Así que lo mismo espero de todos, o sea, eh, que, que todos vayamos mejorando. Eso, eso es sumamente importante para mí. Sigo aprendiendo, sigo aprendiendo. Hay que aprender siempre todos los días. Y muchas Así gracias. Muchas gracias. Sí, Bueno. gracias a ustedes también. Si no hay más, pues entonces nos, nos vemos mañana. Descansen mucho y que Dios lo bendiga. Sí, le de teacher. See you later. See you later. Sí. 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 Hey, okay, see you tomorrow. Okay, good night, everyone. Hey, see you, Moses. Goodbye, Mary. Goodbye. Goodbye.